uh, custom web that we've copied and we've now put it inside our www directory which is inside our one server directory like i told you since we are going to start using php code that will do the connection that will connect our i'll connect this our form to the database we need to write a php code and for us to write a php code for us to write a php code we have to be working from inside one so make sure your Austin web is now placed inside one by going to computer local disk one www then invest it so this is where we are going to be having all our website all these are websites that we are having so for this Austin web this is it so this is where we are going to be working so I am going to give you a code that will do the connection for us and the code that is going to do this connection I am going to just copy a snippet code that I already have before and use it for these lectures So that's cool. That code is actually here. Good. So this is the code that we are going to use for our connection. So I'm going to open a new notepad and first it. This code, when you get to the source code section of tclassify.com, you're going to see this code already pasted there for you to download and use so that the work will be easier for you so this is the PHP code that does the connection and this is the way it is explained these are PHP connection now you are trying to make connection to the database that you have you are using local like I told you since you are not hosted online root is the name of the uh, is the username for every one server that you download root is the username user uh, password we are not using any password then users which is the name of the database but we are not going to be using users now like you know our database that we created then we have the name as Austin DB so let me open it so that we we'll see it so we're going to make sure that our form server has been started because without starting the warm server we cannot work so this is the new PHP code and now the name of our database is uh, Austin DB so that's why we're having Austin DB there so we're going to work on this code and when we work on this code it will be able to connect this